Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all enjoying the new UK lockdown restrictions. As you can see, I've got a haircut finally. It's been months and I've been desperate, so thank God. And of course, I hope you're all doing very well. Today, we are talking music once again, and I've got 10 bands slash artists for you that I think are quite underrated and that you should definitely check out on Spotify. We're going to be talking about some smaller bands and some smaller artists that you may or may not have heard of. Um, artists that have a bit less recognition, so no Foo Fighters, no Post Malone. Nothing like that. Um, everyone on this list does have under 1 million monthly listeners on Spotify. You may already know a few of the names on here, but hopefully there's at least one or two that you can take away and add onto your playlists. Um, but if not, I hope you enjoy the video nonetheless. And if you do, please remember to give it a like rating because it helps the channel out more than you think. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Okay, coming in at number 10, I've gone for a band called Bad Sounds. Bad Sounds are a British alternative indie band with over 200,000 monthly listeners on Spotify. They're most well known for their song Wages, which featured in the FIFA 18 soundtrack, which is where I found them from. Who knew that playing FIFA could actually be a really good way to find new music? The reason I put them on this list is because I think their music is something quite new and something quite fresh within sort of the indie music scene. Um, and they're probably comparable to bands like Easy Life and anything that's really kind of chill and, and quite slow um, that you can just sort of put on in the background and listen to while, you, while you're doing work or whatever. Since I discovered the band through FIFA, as weird as that sounds, they're a band I've listened to more and more and definitely if you, don't, if you haven't heard of them you should probably check them out. Moving on to number 9, I've gone with Tough Love. Tough Love are a British duo who produce house music and have over 450,000 monthly listeners on Spotify. They're best known for their house songs So Freaking Tight and a remix of Pony by Genuine, both of which you might have heard if you, if you listen to the radio or if you've been to any kind of dance slash house club. I'm not going to speak too much about Tough Love because they are one of the bigger names on this list, but I'm quite into my house music and, and dance electronic stuff, so I thought I'd feature them here because they don't really have a lot of a lot of listeners compared to other house DJs, but nonetheless they are very good and I would definitely recommend if that is your sort of thing. Moving on to number eight, we're going back to rock and indie music and I've gone for DMAs. DMAs are an Australian three-piece rock band from Sydney with 855,000 monthly listeners on Spotify. DMAs were actually a recommendation from Spotify. I think they were in one of my daily mix playlists that Spotify makes. I would definitely recommend giving them a listen if you're into the likes of uh, the Cortinas, Catfish in the Bottom and the Sherlocks that kind of sound. I was actually meant to see them live last year but that got cancelled because of well everything that's going on so hopefully that can happen this year because uh, they're, they're definitely a band that I would like to see do their thing live. Moving on to number seven I've got the only rapper that I've included on this list who if you're familiar with KSI you, you may know who this is and that is Quadeca. Quadeca is an American YouTuber slash rapper with roughly 850k monthly listeners on Spotify. He's probably best known for his diss track against KSI uh, a couple of years ago which was fairly good in itself and I think probably turned a lot of heads and, and made a lot of people recognise who he is, particularly in the UK. One of the reasons I actually put him on this list is because of the album that he most recently released, which was a couple of days ago actually. It's an album called From Me To You, which is, in my opinion, brilliant. If you're a fan of like American rap and that kind of sound, I would definitely recommend giving him a listen because he has lots of different styles that he uses in his music and overall, I think, for a a YouTube rapper or whatever you want to call him, I think his, his stuff is, is really, really good. At number six, we have the least renowned band that's on this list, and that is a band called Only Shadows. Only Shadows are a British alternative indie rock kind of band uh, with around 12.5k listeners on Spotify. Their song Stay Close To Me came up in a daily mix on Spotify, so if you're into the same kind of music as me, which you can probably work out what that is by now, um, I would definitely recommend going to check that song out. But overall, I think they're a very solid band considering the amount of listeners they have, so definitely deserve a place here on this list. Up next we have another DJ slash dance music artist by the name of Draper. Draper is a French born house slash dance DJ with around 170k listeners on Spotify. I actually discovered Draper thanks to the Reading and Leeds lineup back in 2018 I think it was. Um, I saw he was on the dance stage and I didn't really know who he was so I thought I'd, I thought I'd check him out before I actually went to the festival and it turned out that I really liked him and I did end up going to see him. I first listened to his song called Fire which is an absolutely brilliant song by the way. If you like uh, kind of house EDM then definitely listen to Fire by Draper because that song is brilliant. Plus after I saw him at Reading he actually sent me a message on Instagram uh, and he seems like a really nice guy so I've got to put him in it. Alright up next number four we are going back to rock music and we have The La Fontaines. The La Fontaines are a Scottish three-piece rock slash hip-hop band Yes, you heard that right, with roughly 45,000 listeners on Spotify. I was actually recommended to listen to this band through a couple of my friends who I think saw the LaFontaines as a support act to a gig that they went to and said that they were just mental. So 
Go and check them out. No regrets. They're brilliant. The rock and hip hop mix definitely delivers. Like it sounds very bizarre, but you kind of just have to listen to them to understand how it works. But they are very good. And number three, I've put one of my favorite bands over the last few years, and that is Frank Carter and the Rattlesnakes. Frank Carter and the Rattlesnakes are a four piece British punk rock band. Uh, led by frontman Frank Carter with around 380k monthly listens on Spotify. I spoke about them in my Perfect Festival lineup video and explained the story of, of how I discovered them. And in summary, basically, uh, I went to Reading in 2016 and saw that they were playing on the main stage. It looked pretty mental and sort of gave them a listen then and listened to them more when I got home. And over the years, just kind of listened to them more and more and they slowly became one of my favourites. For me, my favourite album is probably Modern Ruin, favourite song Wildflowers. Um, and overall they're a phenomenal band, very very good live, um, just they deliver on all fronts, would definitely recommend checking them out. And number two I've gone with a band called Noisy. Noisy are a British three piece, I, I don't know what genre they are really. I mean their management describes them as hip hop, drum and bass and the eternal swagger of the Happy Mondays mixed together. So. Make of that what you will. They've got around 250k monthly listens on Spotify and they were born out of the remnants of a band called High Tide, who I also mentioned in my Perfect Festival lineup video. Once they announced the end of High Tide and then started the group called Noisy, it was kind of obvious for me to give them a listen. And whilst it was very different to what they were doing before, it's still very, very good. I don't know how I'd describe their music in my own words really, to be honest, but I think what they've done brilliantly is found their own sound and their own lane and what works for them. And I think what they're putting out at the moment is absolutely brilliant and I think you kind of need to just check it out yourself to understand exactly what, what it is. Plus they have a burner phone that you can ring them on, which I did and I spoke to them, so that was cool. And number one, my top musical recommendation goes out to the indie fans among us and that band is The Night Cafe. The Night Cafe are a British indie pop band based in Liverpool, which is a big plus. I stumbled across a song by them called Mixed Signals a couple of years back, which I basically fell in love with that song as soon as I heard it because it's literally everything that I like in indie music. So it was one of the songs that I just had on repeat and still kind of do um, all of the time. That song is from an EP called Get Away From The Feeling, which has four songs on it and all four of the songs are probably four of my favorite indie songs out there. If you don't know who they are, I would definitely recommend giving them a listen because they are probably one of my favorites when it comes to indie music. They are very good. And that is it for my top 10 artists on Spotify that you should listen to. Hopefully there's at least one or two artists that you can take away from this video and go and listen to yourself. If there's any smaller bands or artists that you think I missed that are definitely worth a shout, let me know down in the comments and maybe I'll check them out myself. As always, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you at the next one. Peace.